Clicking, but nothing was happening. <laughs> All right, uh, it's me versus the Sturgeon Veteran Warrior, and then Tadios. Guy's got really heavy armor. I'm doing like no damage to him. To hell with you. However, once I don't have a shield, I'm a lot quicker. Uh, tournament's worth it for experience. Yes, very much so. Do I know if the game can be controlled to a controller? Don't know. Alright, me versus Tadios. Oh, damn, this guy hits hard. And fast. Whoo! Get a swing in, jeez. He's freaking blitzkrieging. I mean, I hit hard, but crikey. I mean, I know the quality of my armor puts me at a bit of a disadvantage because my armor is still shocking compared to what's possible. <laughs> Bloody hell. Like, what's my one handed now? 70. Yeah, see, I'm probably up against somebody with about 200 there, would be my guess. Oh yeah, smithing. <laughs> totally forgot about that. Iron Maker. That's what we were going for. The whole point of me reloading. Oh man. Alright, Zionica. Let's go and sell the rest of our goods and then head north. That's a lot of mountain bandits heading in the same rough direction that I'm going in. That's a lot of looters heading in the opposite direction. But I will be going back that way. I feel like having a battle, because I haven't had one for a while. Footmen, hear me! Move! Infantry! Get moving! Actually. Move out! Make a shield, one man. Warriors! Forward! Cavalry! Onwards! <laughs> Footmen! Face that way! Footmen, here, move out! Don't get distracted, move. people. Charge! <laughs> move! Charge! <laughs> you are under a hurry
Oh, you got him. Impressive. Look how many bloody javelins there are. That's madness. How the hell did I survive that? I didn't do my usual thing of cowering behind the shield wall. I was just like, I'm going to charge bravely forth and somehow not die. Sturgeon recruit, level up, level up, level up. And actually... Got nothing of use. Oh yes we did. We got one of those. Alright, cool. Onwards to Zionica, where we shall once more sell stuff, hopefully. I'm totally going to end up just buying a bucket load of equipment, aren't I? I know what I'm like. Oh, woodland garments. Those are actually quite good. And can be worn in peacetime. Okay, so what else do we need to do? I need to get rid of the arrows. Can bows be broken down into hardwood? No. Which is a little bit weird, but never mind. Alright, so that's all of those sold. Let's see if we can sell any goods. Fish. Meat. Cheese. It's all the stuff I'm looting from the uh, bandits. Silver. 265 and I bought it for about 100 a piece. Linen. Uh, not as valuable, but still valuable. Okay. All right, what you got? You got wine. You do have very cheap wine, I'll grant you that. And I know that sells in the north. None of this stuff, though. Okay, then. Still making profit. And how's my trade skill now? We are at 63 trade, so it is going up. There's a tournament here. I'm at 29% health. So in that case, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to wait here some time, let myself heal up a bit, and then maybe join the tournament and then head on. Yeah, they're not getting their feedback from watching streams. Well, watching modded streams. Um, it's Mountain Blade has always been a long-term game. Always. And they're doing Warband to be the same thing. You get experience slowly. And yeah, the perks not working is kind of annoying. Because you don't know which ones they are. Do I have a shield and roguery? Oh, I do! I didn't even realise I was gaining roguery. 10% faster village raids or 5% more loot from village raids. Oh, we're definitely taking the loot. If you're waiting there anyway, you may as well get the full amount. 
All right, uh, next up, arena, tournament. Doing this on 57%. Hard mode. Especially as I'm on a horse. Do 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 do. Right, I'm gonna spend my time taking out the horseman. As I was saying. Take that ground. I hit you hard. Oh, we had a Druzhnik champion on our side. Yeah, okay. Uh, me and Sturgeon Horse Raider versus Tadios Svana Kulyat and a Druzhnik champion. I'm sorry, Jerusalem champion, but we had to do that that way. Yes! Tadios is not in! Okay, so the hardest person is now going to be the Jerusalem champion. Time to put my athletics to use. I wish I had a uh, rear mirror so I could see what's going on behind me. Locks quickly. Have I hit him once? Mobility! Oh, man. Alright, so now it's just me versus Sturgeon Horse Raid. I can't believe I'm doing this on low health.
Did it. I did it. <laughs> that plume is good, isn't it? Yeah, it is nice. And it's still better. Oh, wait. It's better than these weapons. All right, so you get the hat. You're going to keep that because Morena just looks cool with that hat on. Actually... No, you're going to get the cavalry hat. You're going to get the goggled helm. Because she is actually supposed to be a fighty person. And then you get that hat, which is a big upgrade to what you had before. Alright, cool. I really am huge. I mean, just look at the difference in size. Ah, Half giant. All right, Blitz, thank you very much for the follow, and the Snowlord1, and Ilk, thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. All right, I know that there was an army heading north, which I should probably deal with. How much am I carrying? I'm still alive. So there's a large group of looters up here. There they are. Hello, Poppet. So before joining this battle, my tactics is 34-773. And this is the closest fight I've had for a while. Which wasn't close. That's a lot of money. So it was almost 200 experience from that. All right, let's go to Amitatis. And then probably Reute Epicotia. Yeah, I think so. Onwards. <clears throat> yeah, no deaths, which was good. Okay, what do we have to sell? All of this stuff. We also have prisoners to deal with, but we'll do that after this. Looks like dates sell in a lot of different places. So I'm not having to work very hard to sell them. Tavern, prisoners, those aren't prisoners, those are prisoners, huzzah, and there he is, Mr. Sudace the Golden. So what is my renown right now? It is 332 of 350, if I win another tournament that's 335, we're still 15 away. So, uh, like five, six tournaments. Hey, Katie, thank you very much for the 21 month resubscription. That is amazing. Thank you so much for that, Katie. Boom, I hit a button. Yes, you did. And only three more months away from the orange wings, the almighty, marvelous, and magnificent orange wings. So, thank you for ongoing support. Really appreciate that. Thank you. All right, is there a tournament here? Of course there is. <clears throat> and it's an all v all and I'm going to start betting again because I'm on more health not the most health, just more health Oh, 
Oh, you're kidding me. Go on, Morena. It's all up to you now. Oh no, there's still some down that side. Oh no, that's that's Uruk. Colour was that? We were green, wasn't we? Yeah, we're green. So we got Morena and Ulrich. Uruk. Unfortunately, they're up against a uh, spear person. We're thankfully hitting the wrong person. So these two should get busy killing each other. And then hopefully we can just get a random stab, like, there. Just like that. Gotta love the jump attack. It's not as strong as the jump attack in uh, Warband. In Warband you could get some really nice jumps. Ooh, nice hit. <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna just distract you and then... Stab you in the back with the horseman. Nah. <laughs> so it's Kuliat and me versus Morena and Uruk. And I'm the swordsman. Teamwork! Cool yacht. Even though you're not an archer. Alright, me versus Cool yacht this time. And I could potentially be up against the Druzhnik champion again. That'll be fun! Oof. Been practicing. <laughs> Do have slightly better armor than he does, though. Do I think that Corona's permanently killed E3? It's been online on the brink for a while. It's now considered. I wonder if those studios who have to. Do their stuff might just stop doing that like Nintendo does. I doubt it because a lot of people still want like the person-to-person -person interaction, but if something else is gonna overtake it, possibly. Also uh, GDC, similar. Similar situation. Remarkably easy, unlike last time. Well, that's another victory. And I made some money from the uh, bets that I placed. Alright, is this helmet any good? It's a 27. So it's the same as that. Give it to Morena. So we actually have the Sturgia Heavy Cavalry Helmet spare now. Uh, no we don't, because we need to give that to the other lucky dude, my commander. If he ever gets captured again. Um, right, so that's put us... at 335, so we need another 15 renown. And we'll be able to get... Sudeis. Right, okay. We know where he is now. Not 
stop selling the metals, so the metals are worth quite a lot of money here. Do you have anything at all to sell? Because right now it's not looking like it. Nope. Okay. And there is, of course, a tournament here. Because, of course, there is. Oh, splint boots. Those are good. Sorry, Morena. He's on like 13 hit points. There you go. Alright, four way fight again. Sturgeon Warrior, and then it's going to be me versus Kuliat in the final. Pretty sure I can beat Kuliat. Gambling on the fact that I hit faster and harder than him. Alright, Kuliat. It's you and me, buddy. It's you and me. I'll split your skull. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> kind of stun locked him there. Another victory. Splint boots, I'll take those. And of course the three renown. So those are actually what I am wearing. But we can hand these over to you, Kuliat. And Rote, we've done our trade here already. Epicotia, off we go. What's Aldrich doing over here? Hello, Aldrich. And Boritor is getting quite a lot of experience pretty quickly, which is nice to see. How close are you actually to leveling up? Halfway-ish. You just got a point in roguery. Stewarding is almost maxed out, though, already. Alright. Medicine already is maxed out. Rigged. He was told to take the fall. <laughs> it's not the way I work, alright? Any stuff for sale? Yes, dates, again. Alright, if I ever see dates cheap again, I'm definitely buying them because they pretty much sell everywhere. Everything here is in high demand. They're just not willing to pay for it. We don't have any people, do we? Jithia the other wronged. And we do want to go to talk to Istiana. <clears throat> Oi, sorry, don't think I know you. I am Istiana. You probably already know that, though. Once I wielded great power. But now, anyway, I am most curious about what you might want from me. So what brings so, you to me?
<laughs> that was terrifying. It's like, she spoke? She actually spoke? I believe I have a piece of the dragon batter of Calradius. Is that true? Yes. You may have one piece of the banner, but it's of little use in itself. You'll have to find the other parts. But once you can bring together the pieces, you'll have something of tremendous value. There's some voiceover, but not all. This is literally the first voice acting I have seen. The banner of Calradius is part of a legend. Nope, no, and then it stops. They say it was carried by Calradius the Great as he led a small band of exiles into the land to make a new home for themselves. They say that, so long as it is carried by a true son of Calradius... No, this is the same as the previous guy. If you can find the missing pieces, I'm sure I can find someone who'll take it from your hands. Before I reveal that information to you, I need to know more about your intentions. One could use the banner to restore the Empire, or could use the banner to destroy it. I was a confidant of the old Emperor Noretzis. Officially, I was not his spymaster, as I am a woman, but that was the role I played nonetheless. I liked Noretzis, and he was grateful for his trust, but he was not a good Emperor. Too stubborn and principled, I probably should have poisoned him. Suffice to say that I know better than anyone about the lies and the cruelty that kept the Empire alive. But all of the murders I committed in the ten years of serving Noretzis do not amount to the death toll of a single hour when an army storms into town. As for the glorious history, let me tell you, any one of those petty kings and khans and sultans could probably get lucky and conquer Calradia and do as good a job ruling it as we did. But the point is, we already did it. Our greatest crimes are in the past. Do not undo what has already been done. So, if you intend to use the band to save the Empire, I'll tell you what I know. But if you want to go backwards, not forwards, then I will not help you. Yes, I will use the banner to save the Empire. Good. Then I will tell you what I know. I heard about one other piece. I do not know where the other pieces are. You may need to keep searching for them. When you have recovered all the pieces, return to me and I'll help you put them into use. All right, so... We have met with Istiana, and we can go onwards and upwards. So we need to find the other piece, which is also in a hideout, which is right there. Where there are ten mountain bandits currently guarding this. And in the time that we've been walking around, my party has now healed up. Uh, before we go any further, though, let's go and just reorganize the forces, because it's been a long time since I did that. Yeah, we have quite a few units which are pretty high level now, which is nice. We have nine veteran warriors, for example. That's a hell of a front line. Big ass shields, awesome banner. He never said which empire. Helping the Sturgeon Empire rise. I mean, you're not wrong. Anyway, we are going to go and do the hideout after the break. So I do hope you are enjoying this. So far, if you are, be sure to hit that follow button to get notifications when I'm live again in one hour's time. And then we shall see what exactly the banner is for, because this is the first time I'm actually completing this quest. If you uh, hit the follow button like Fabian, then you are awesome and like live reaction and like Kathos, that's a name I recognize, um, then you are even more awesome and you should totally hit that follow button if you haven't done so already. Yay, self-plugging. Um, I will be back in one hour's time. I'm just going to go and grab something to eat because I was getting hungry. So we'll be resuming this at 10 p.m. BST this evening. Then again on Friday, basically all day after that too. Um, if you like what you've seen here, you may also want to check out the YouTube, which you can find at youtube.com slash Mordred Viking. Uh, there is the Vlandia series, uh, up there already. So if you wish to see how the lancing and cavalry aspect of this game works, which is quite different from the footman stuff, then you can find that over on youtube.com slash Mordred Viking. Drink tea. I am just, actually, I have one sip. There we go. Tea has been drunk. Uh, let's see. 
Loco Omega and Craven. Thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. I also have a Patreon if you want to support the channel that way, or you can, of course, become a subscriber here on Twitch. And then finally, I have a Discord, which is where the community hangs out. They're a cool bunch, and it's always a real pleasure to see some new faces over there. So please do come and join us. Uh, I see that several people have already posted that in chats, and thank you to you all. Let's see who else is streaming right now, and we shall go and throw them a raid, because I can't really call myself a Viking if we don't go raiding. We've done the trading, now we're doing the raiding. Um... That's got to be resorty. I was enjoying his stream yesterday. He just has a really nice character. So we're going to head over to Resorty. So head on over there. Say hello from Mordred Viking. If you would be so kind, then please do copy and paste Viking Raid just like that into his chat. And let's make our presence well and truly known because it's not real raid if you don't know you're being raided. So we need to make some noise. Let's make some noise in this chat. So thanks everyone for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this stream. I hope you enjoy that stream. And I hope to see you again in about an hour. Until then, goodbye. Viking Raid! Charge! <laughs>